Hello everyone, this is Neil reporting for Your Revoir live from Liverpool and I'm joined now by Monica Linkipe from Lithuania. Labas rytas, Monika. Labas rytas, labas rytas. Kaip sakysi? Do you know more Lithuanian? A, a, bit, a bit more. A bit more? Yeah. Where did you learn it? Uh, I learned it from my Lithuanian friend in Luxembourg. Okay, it's okay, just, perfect. Just Lithuanian brings people together. Yes, I mean there is loads of Lithuanians around here. Exactly, exactly. And speaking of around here, how are you finding Liverpool so far? Uh, well, I didn't have much time to go out and, and see the city, but we were in karaoke near this street, somewhere near. Um, so we were enjoying that very much. And I like buildings. I like that everything is quite close because I was studying in London. And in London, like you have to take a train and go from one part to another part of the city and it takes ages and you have to really you know schedule meetings with the friends and uh, and I I think that everything is much more close here so I, I am quite enjoying that as well. Cool and also it is not your first time at Eurovision as well you were <laughs> also at Eurovision back in 2015 yes. as well does it feel any different coming back? Do you feel more calm as in like, I know what to do, I know what to expect in the week, or is it just as nervous and exciting? Um, it is nervous and it is uh, stressful, of course. I mean, I'm representing my country, so all Lithuanians are watching and, you know, they want to have a good result, this and that, and, you know. Um, so I, I think that you have to be, like, you don't have to be, but if you are a human, you will be stressful and, you know, all of that feelings. But uh, because of all these eight years, I was, you know, studying, I was writing music, I was performing. It gives me loads of confidence, definitely. So do you feel like the, the 2015 version of Monica and the 2023 um, Monica are completely different? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and I've heard that from our head of delegation. He said that I am like a completely different person. I hope in a good way as well. <laughs> well, I hope so as well. <laughs> so also, he is <laughs> <laughs> but also um, another tradition that you started with uh, with Vedas back in back in two thousand sixteen yes. was to award yes. the winner of the uh, of the Lithuanian selection with the state flag of Lithuania. Oh, yeah. So for that to come full circle with this year as well. How did, did that feel like a full circle moment? It's just like, I started this and now I am yeah. getting it. it it's, it's quite interesting, you know, and to put my, like, the solo name of that, it's, yeah, it's the honor. And also with the song Stay as well. Um, so there were some changes from when we first heard it as well, mainly the adding of Chuto tu. Yeah. <laughs> so um, why, uh, why did you take that decision to make it more present in the song than it originally was? Um, well, I made that decision because um, I wanted to have that power from these words, I, I guess, and to spread it as much as it possible. And Lithuanians, they were asking for that, you know, they were, you know, saying that they love that part. And of course, um, I've got like some comments from uh, not Lithuanians, like from Eurovision fans, and they were, all of them, they were all about, they were about that phrase and everyone was enjoying that. I mean, okay, not everyone, but most, most, people. <laughs> most people, they were enjoying that. Uh, so I think that that's why. And, <clears throat> um, well, I wanted to do that from the first, but um, but I I was just worried that maybe it would be too much of Lithuanian folk. Um, but yeah, but now I'm just like I think that we made a good decision, and I think we didn't have time just to sit down with the with the song and you know think through because I've wrote that song in, in one evening and then after three or four weeks we had to perform that on the stage. So I didn't have time, you know, to just just think and that's why we needed to do changes during the competition. And also you've, you've already had your rehearsal, you had your re first rehearsal on that stage yesterday. How did it go? How did it feel to be on that stage again? To be on that stage is amazing. I feel, I felt calm somehow, I don't know. But we are having issues <laughs> with 
with some stuff and now we're just like spending time with with the team to 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 to, to make uh, everything better that's what rehearsals are for us <laughs> yes yes definitely definitely and also um Coming back to Eurovision as well, is there anything that still surprises you about the Eurovision world and the Eurovision journey? Um, it surprised me. Like it surprised uh, the first thing. What surprised me that we this year we are so connected with other delegations like Ukrainians, Spain, France, um, Latvian, Slovenian, Estonian. Like I can like Irish guys. Uh, I love them. I mean, they're most friendly, I think, you know, like all of them are friendly, but Irish guys. Um, yeah. Wild youth are my personal good friends, so I'll tell them that the next time I see them. Oh, so. yeah. I mean, just tell them yeah. hi from Monica. Of course, of course. Yeah. Where, where do you stay? Uh, I don't know. If anyone knows that, can you please let us know? We have a very important no, message. Text, text <laughs> Instead of going around to every hotel, it's just like, sorry, is Wild Youth sing? Hey. <laughs> and no, but actually, I miss them. I need to Instagram them. We need to see each other. Exactly, and chaos will ensue. <laughs> now the beer is going to you know, split everywhere with Irish. <laughs> yeah, it's a very dangerous thing around us. But then, final question. Um, what... What can viewers expect from your performance on, in the second semi-final next week? Um, honesty, connection, and power. Very simple, very clear yeah. then. I think that um, my goal is to, to make, um, yeah, to, to be clean like the performance has to be clean but also give the goosebumps and like to yeah i, I want to reach people with the power from my heart so that's the aim because i'm not the person who can just you know put like shiny clothes and do loads of stuff on the stage and then feel that this is how I'll, i am reaching people i mean i'm really enjoying that and of course, like, you know, my personal taste, I love that kind of music as well. But this is not who I am as the artist. And I want to be very, um, I want to be humble because I am like as a person and as the artist. So this is the, the goal to somehow to click me as the person and, this, and as the artist and show that uh, in those three minutes. Oh, and we can't wait to see it on the 11th of May as well. So, uh, Achu Labai for talking to me today. Achu, Achu. And remember to follow us on all of our socials and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our many videos that are coming up from Liverpool. But yes, until next time, bye bye.